New guidelines for schools as they prepare to welcome back students into their classrooms. Meanwhile, anti-Qatar bots return in yet another online campaign targeting Doha. And are you planning to host a fan or rent out your property during the World Cup? Keep watching to find out what the rules are. And finally, a Qatari female adventurer makes history as she reaches new heights. Hi, I'm Minna and this is The Roundup. Here are the top stories making headlines in Qatar today. As in-person learning approaches, authorities have released new guidelines for schools in an effort to contain the spread of the virus. Children will be able to return to their classrooms at the end of the month, but with conditions. Unvaccinated students or teachers who come in contact with positive cases will have to take rapid tests and quarantine for seven days or more. While vaccinated students who come in contact with an infected person will have to take a test, but no mandatory quarantine will be imposed if their result is negative. If a school witnesses a large number of COVID-19 cases, it could be forced to close for a week. Disinformation experts have detected what they describe as a sock puppet network spreading anti-Qatar and anti-Turkey propaganda on various social media platforms. The boots are pushing the anti-Qatar sentiment in discussions on Somalia, whose government is an ally of Qatar and which refused to take part in the blockade on Doha in 2017. As always, the full story is on DohaNews.co. Now, are you thinking of renting your house to World Cup fans? You will need to obtain a holiday homes license to ensure your property meets the Qatar Tourism Authority standards. If you don't, you could be fined up to 200,000 Qatari rials or even face prison time. Qatar Tourism has set up a hotline and introduced a simplified process for landlords to be able to get their license within a week. With a shortage in hotel rooms, subleasing apartments will play a major role in accommodating the 1 million plus visitors expected later this year. In sports, a Qatari woman adventurer has yet again made history. Mountaineer Sheikha Asma bin Thani Al Thani marked another accomplishment after becoming the first Qatari woman to summit the almost 5,000 meter Vincent Massive, Antarctica's highest mountain. New heights for Asma as she takes one step closer to completing the explorer's grand slam of climbing the seven summits. Thanks for watching, but if you want to know more, make sure to head over to our website, dohanews.com.